everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a decade of Guild Wars 2. Technically over a decade because it's been 11 years, but I'm actually making this the 24th, the day before the 8th birthday anniversary stream for Guild Wars 2. So it's it's a little special because I've never done something in time or of the moment necessarily like this. I don't think I have at least, but I'm very much excited to see what they're going to do with the live stream and how Guild Wars 2 will progress in the years to come. But without further ado, let's take a look back at Guild Wars 2 10 years ago, some trailers, some gameplay, give my thoughts on it, and then uh, take a trip down memory lane. So let's go. So first and foremost, we have the teaser trailer, which launched back in 2009, so 11 years ago. And this was the very first glimpse into the world of Guild Wars 2 that the public got. It wasn't a gameplay trailer, but it definitely set up the art style that ArenaNet would carry throughout Guild Wars 2 as the game grew. Honestly, iconic. Not for the sake of being iconic, but genuinely iconic for this dragon eyeball, the underwater scenes, and then the rising up, of course we know as Zaitan now, and the rising of Orr, and generally was a very gripping trailer. It set the tone of the, the fight of the races against the dragons, and then this opening of the wings scene is truly just breathtaking. Definitely gives you a sense of scale, a sense of awe, wonder, and amazement. Of course, we have the Orions coming up from the bubbles with all their spikes and scales and stuff, and then we see the representation of the five races. There is a dwarf there, which is really quite interesting. I wonder if they were planning for dwarfs, but there are some humans, so on and so forth. Of course, we have the Ebon Hot Gates, which are in game. No not necessarily to scale and not as magnificent as shown in the concept art, but still good to have in game nonetheless. In all, this trailer was just honestly what drew me in for the most part. I played Guild Wars 1, not addictively, <laughs> admittedly, but once I saw Guild Wars 2, and their trailer, this teaser trailer, I knew I had to stick around and see what was going on with this game. My love of it only grew from here, and uh, that transition from the art to the in-game engine is also fantastic. Here we see actual in-game engine footage of some environments. We do see a couple battles, um, but we don't necessarily see any UI or what it's like to play as the first person as the player themselves. So to this point, of course, it is a teaser. They're just showing you the imagery, the environments, the, the presentation of combat. We didn't know if Guild Wars 2 was going to be similar to Guild Wars 1 with its heavy instanced focused game and henchmen and tab targeting. Guild Wars 2 eventually became fairly instance based but of course has the action combat, the dynamic combat that we know and love today. Some early concept of Radisum, just I've always wanted to go to these places and I'm like, it's so sad that I can't because they're, they're so long gone. Of course, we have some more uh, depictions of the other races, all fine and dandy. Now is the time. Claim your destiny, forge your legend. Next up, let's take a look at some very early combat, actual in-game gameplay that has been reported from Gamescom or some other game convention. I'll have the link to this video down below if you'd like to watch the whole entire thing in its entirety. But I wanted to kind of analyze this for a couple reasons, um, mostly for the early stages of combat, the UI, and the skill functions, and also because it's the ranger and early pet mechanics and integration. So first and foremost, you'll see that there isn't an endurance bar over the health potion, the health circle, 
um, on the UI. And instead of the endurance bar, they had the energy system, which we have now on the Revenant. But quite honestly, the energy system back in the day, back in 2010, 2009, 2010, 2011, that era, Actually, I don't know when they scrapped it, probably early on. It was very much different. You had skills that used energy, your dodge used energy, but you had energy potions. So it was, it, it was around every single action you did. Here we have some early um, showcasing of spell effects, and quite honestly, it, w it was these effects that kind of drew me in. And as the years have gone by, I'm kind of sad that the visuals aren't necessarily as spectacular as they used to be like that frozen ground that that dagger three skill it looks so weak now compared to that and that geyser now i don't think every skill should be looking like this but i do think it's sad that they don't have that option to bring them back for your own personal character i would love to maybe eventually turn on like ultra spell effect quality on your character while culling other uh ally spell effects i think that's great here's also another that 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 healing that shout we heal as one looked so amazing and then the old revive system where you had to actually revive your pet and it was just a cast instead of an actual like over the time stuff here's some uh pretty early pvp uh gameplay here they don't have the energy bar this is when they moved over to the endurance bar and it was not over the health bar yet it was still on the right side Another thing that I really loved about early gameplay, and I wish that they had the option to bring back for customization and accessibility, are these larger, slanted combat texts. If you see, it's like uh, that 1804 critical. It's slanted. It shows that it's a critical. It, we, it, the font has completely changed in basic combat, and I remember playing, and I was so sad that they had changed it, because I thought the font that they were running with was very well known. It fit really well into the Guild Wars 2 aesthetic, and it was just really cool. I'd love to see that come back, quite honestly. But similarly, PvP. Now we're going over and jumping to the next milestone in Guild Wars 2's life. This being Heart of Thorns. Now this is the Heart of Thorns uh, launch trailer. And I'm deciding to choose this trailer because of the cinematic artistry CGI-ness of it all. This has been a trailer that's one of its kind and I truly truly loved I remember back when it launched some people weren't super thrilled about it they thought it might have been a bit weird but looking back I'm like wow this really really fits Guild Wars 2's aesthetic and set the tone of Heart of Thorns quite honestly I, I truly love this um, this is depicting Dragon Stand um, this has not been confirmed however when you compare it to early uh, shots of it that were in the um, announcement trailer. This looks like Dragon Stand um, in its early iteration. And speaking of Heart of Thorns in early iterations, I would love if they released screenshots of old Tarir and their old idea for Dragon Stand because Dragon Stand had this more sunset aesthetic hue color palette to it. I thought it was really cool. I would have loved to see old Tarir as well. And maybe they had different plans for Tangled Depths, but we never really saw too much of Tangled Depths. Overall, I really enjoyed the Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns trailer. I thought it was really interesting and well done, and Heart of Thorns as a whole was a major milestone in Guild Wars 2's lifetime. Next, we're going to be going over to the next milestone. This is expansion 2 for Guild Wars 2, Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire. This trailer is the launch trailer. I'm, I'm almost 100% certain that this is the launch trailer. I've already forgotten even though I grabbed it. Um, surprisingly, but also not surprisingly, um, the trailer and the launch trailer is typically one that is more CGI or animated. For Path of Fire, they decided to go in-engine. And I think that's kind of cool. It sells the product in its most realistic form. It doesn't sugarcoat or candy coat anything. It shows you the things that you're going to be playing and witnessing as you play through it. But I, I would have liked maybe a bit more of a cinematic trailer for Path of Fire. I think that's one thing that Path of Fire lacked in terms of the classical expansion hype, the tried and true methods of getting people excited for an expansion. Also, you can catch Casimir in her old outfit. Um, and and wonderful glint but in all path of fire was a great 
great job. I enjoyed playing it, and uh, wonderful milestones for Guild Wars 2. I'm very much excited for Expansion 3. Thank you everybody so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that was a trip down memory lane a decade and more of guild wars 2 arena net their magic their art their artistry and hopefully for years to come thank you guys so much for watching once again like the video comment down below all your thoughts subscribe share you know what to do you've been on the internet for long enough um but all my links are down below if you are interested and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye everyone